what's up guys welcome back to the channel so where is macOS pixel public beta so people are actually mad at this moment guys if you were to search up macOS pixel public beta on twitter you will see that you know people are losing their minds so many people have been waiting for macOS pixel public beta and some are tweeting at apple saying is everything okay you know you told us that the public beta will be available in july and if you look at the calendar today let's just open the calendar here you can see that today is the 31st of july the last day of july and if you look at the time here you can see that it's 16:33, and i'm in north america and this is pacific standard time that you see here so apple literally have less than eight hours to basically provide macOS Pixel public beta. Now, if you look at some of the comments that people are making, some are actually using bad language to add Apple, you know, and others are like, I've been waiting for the public beta for so long, right? So basically, Apple did say that the public beta version of macOS Pixel will launch in July. So this today is the last day of July, and I actually posted a pool here on Twitter to see what people think. I said, are we going to see macOS Pixel public beta today, just like Apple said? And you can see that, you know, I have about 43 votes. Let me just refresh this page to see what happens. So yeah, I have about uh, 43 votes and that was two hours ago. And you can see that so many people actually don't think that we'll see the public beta version of macOS Pixel today. 83.7% don't think that we'll see this and they are mad and you can see that others think that you know maybe we'll see it today perhaps before midnight or something like that but that is highly unlikely that we'll see macOS Pixel public beta released today so I don't know what's going on with Apple it seems like they might actually delay macOS Pixel just like they are going to delay the iPhone 12 if you know the iPhone 12 it's been delayed now instead of having a september event we are going to have an october event so let's look at the possible release date for macOS Pixel uh, public beta perhaps again this is an estimate let's look at um today today you can see it's july 31st and if we go to june 22nd right here this is when WWDC launched and that's when we basically got the first developer beta of macOS Pixel and then two weeks after on July the 7th that is exactly two weeks after beta 1 came out we saw the release of macOS Pixel developer beta 2 and then again two weeks after that right on july the 22nd we saw the release of macOS pixel developer beta 3 so apple had said that you know we were supposed to see the release of the public beta version by the end of july and as you can see july is ending we have a few hours left and so if you look at the release pattern that apple has been following when it comes to macOS pixel betas you can see that it's typically after every two weeks the seventh we saw beta 2 and then on the 22nd we saw beta 3 so if you count two weeks from that you can see that it brings us to like the first week of august so macOS pixel beta 4 or if the public beta also comes out alongside the public beta version it could be somewhere between august the 3rd to august the 7th but you know you never know perhaps apple would do the unusual and release something on the weekend between august the 1st and august the 2nd although that is highly unlikely because it's a weekend and yeah basically that's something that i thought i should share now i did do a community pool when it comes to macOS pixel just to see how people are finding the beta that i'm on i'm on beta 3 on this mac you can see that i have the new control panel here and also you can see my applications the way they look and this is the wallpaper by the way shout out to apple track for providing this wallpaper you can see that it combines big Sur, it combines catalina and all other versions in one picture so if you want this wallpaper let me know and i'll drop a link down for you in the comment section below so basically yeah that's something that we can expect i'm disappointed like many people that have been waiting for the public beta version and as you can see actually on beta 3 there weren't so many issues that many people are experiencing you can see that the most voted option from 94 votes when i did the pool was that it's great so i don't know what apple is doing hopefully we see a public beta version but again you know there are some issues that beta 3 has like for example if you look at the apple release notes that we have here you can see that you know some of the issues are like 
this update might take longer than expected and if you interrupt the update process data loss could occur so that's something else that we expect the public beta to fix when it comes out and also there's quite a number of other known issues like for example with mac os pixel beta 3 the touch bar is having issues because we have all these new green buttons and new interaction that came with the update on beta 3 so that should be fixed with the public beta and also the battery service indicator will basically show up here saying that you need to service your battery irregardless of you having not reached the threshold that is required for you to be able to service your mac so if i go into about this mac here right you can see that i'm on big sir and this is the build number for beta Beta 3 that I'm on and then if we go to uh, system report and go to power right you can see the cycle counts that I have so I have about 272 cycle counts and my battery condition is normal so that is good and um, if we were to go here go to the system preferences and go to the battery section you can see that it's normal and yeah I have the new icon that I like that looks like the iPhone 3 GS so basically if you update it to beta 3 and your battery said it needs to be serviced and you know your cycle count isn't above 1000 or 80 percent of the maximum health capacity of the battery that's an issue that uh, the public beta can easily fix and also if you are having issues with your facetime and messages and also iCloud synchronization that is an issue that is known to be there on Mac OS Big Sur developer beta 3 so hopefully when the public beta comes out and I hope that is very soon these issues will be fixed and also if you have the public beta profile or the developer beta profile there's an issue whereby if you go to software update right you might not be able to see the update so that is something also that is known and also if you are updating to this mac os big so it's known to take up more storage than it's actually supposed to so if you go to manage storage it just takes a while to calculate how much storage is being taken up by the system storage and once the system storage loads up basically let's just give it a second you can see that system for me is taking up 16.24 gigs so that is typical and it's a bit normal but if you see system taking up like 100 gig or almost all of your storage that is an issue that is known with mac os big cell developer beta 2 and developer beta 3 and it's something that we look forward to mac os big cell public beta to fix easily so basically when the public beta comes out guys i don't expect it to come with so many features or so many fancy updates i just expect it to fix most of the issues and bugs that we are experiencing on mac os big cell beta 2 and beta 3 which is only out to developers so it should come with more improved stability and it seems like you know apple doesn't want to take chances or risk it so that's basically about it for me when it comes to mac os big so public beta this is an expected release date and also it's an estimate it's not the actual uh, release date that apple has said and i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe down below and thank you very much for watching guys stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video peace